March 11th, 2011, 2.46pm. An earthquake centered 45 miles east of the Oshika Peninsula. Magnitude 9.0. Peace after six minutes. But less than an hour later, the first of several waves begin to hit the east coast of Japan. With heights up to 128 feet. Tsunami walls overtopped and destroyed. Buildings in Tokyo, 300 miles away, began to shake. In some places, water came up through the ground. But this was just the beginning. The earthquake caused the cooling system of Fukushima Daiichi to fail. A triple meltdown, nuclear fuel melted in reactors 1, 2, and 3. The buildup of hydrogen gas caused reactors 1, 2, and 3 to explode. Serious damage was inflicted on reactor 4. The radioactivity released by the explosions was equivalent to 168 Hiroshima bombs. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster quickly became Japan's greatest challenge since World War II. It was rated 7 on the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale. 7 is the worst. Fukushima Daiichi was the second and only other disaster rated a 7 after Chernobyl. Workers used seawater in an attempt to cool down the reactors, but this resulted in the reactors becoming inoperable and the radioactive seawater poured right back into the ocean. Due to the now high levels of radiation in the sea, there was a placement of an 18 mile no fishing zone. Workers faced the daunting task of attempting to contain the radiation. This became newsworthy in August 2013. Engineers still do not know how to remove the fuel from the reactors, but TEPCO has attempted to freeze the ground around the damaged reactors. After the nuclear event had transpired, all nuclear power plants in Japan were shut down. Germany, Belgium, and Switzerland have planned to remove all their nuclear power plants. Although the accident caused no deaths, over a thousand deaths occurred while maintaining evacuation. Citizens within 20 kilometers were evacuated. Citizens between 20 and 30 kilometers were advised to stay inside and not come out. 160,000 displaced. 66,000 evacuees, over a hundred billion dollars in damage, temporary housing starting to feel permanent, families torn apart. I used to see my son regularly, Saku Sati says, but now he doesn't come to visit, it's too exhausting for him to come this far to visit. Nuclear energy refers to the energy stored in the nucleus of atoms. This energy can be obtained through nuclear fusion or nuclear fission. Nuclear power plants use nuclear fission. Energy is released by splitting a large atom into two smaller atoms. Uranium atoms are split, releasing heat that boils water into steam. The steam is then pressurized and turns a turbine.
Low cost and little pollution are why nuclear power is so favorable. Nuclear power plants also have a high energy output. Nuclear power is still flawed. Accidents still happen, like Chernobyl, the Three Mile Island accident, and of course the Fukushima Daiichi disaster. In addition to that, radioactive waste and the disposal of it is problematic. There is also always the threat of nuclear terrorism, which is the use of nuclear material from nuclear power plants to harm people. Although accidents happen, there is so much that we can do to prevent nuclear accidents from happening. And nuclear power is one of the only high output clean energy sources. Contrary to popular belief, nuclear power is actually one of the safest energy sources. There were no direct deaths in the Fukushima and Three Mile Island accidents. Only 4,000 people according to the World Health Organization are estimated to have died from the meltdown of Chernobyl. Compare this to the over 10,000 people that die in the U.S. alone due to coal mining. 